The notes of the minor pentatonic scale can create absolutely stunning piano melodies and little riffs and runs that you can use in your own compositions, in your improvisations, in your songwriting. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play the notes of the minor pentatonic scale. I'm gonna teach you how to play them over top of a chord progression. So it sounds really beautiful. Um, so that you can take these ideas and mix and match them and create your very own little melodic ideas. So step one, we need to figure out the notes of the minor pentatonic. So the cool thing about pentatonic scales is that the notes of the major pentatonic are the same notes um, as the relative minor pentatonic. So there's five of them. If we're looking at the key of D major, we'd have the notes D, E, F sharp, A, and B. So those are our notes. Um, but when we play the relative minor of D, which is B, um, we're gonna play the same notes, just starting on B instead this time. So we've got B, D, E, F sharp, and A. So that's really simple. So just get comfortable with that first. So you can just kind of rock back and forth. And these are the only notes that we're gonna be looking at with our right hand. And that's the first pattern. So it's really an ascending minor pentatonic and a descending. And then you're gonna hang out on that bottom note. So the left hand is really just playing the minor six and then the four. And then we're gonna keep repeating this. And then we've got the one in our left and then we've got the five. So again, that's B minor. repeating that little pattern over and over and what you've got is something that sounds really pretty you might already be like oh I have a song that I want to go create using that exact little riff it sounds so good up high as well so that's idea one the next idea I have is basically the same you're gonna play that ascending pentatonic and then you're gonna add a plus one. So basically you're just adding that root note on the top. You're going to have to allow your hand to move unless you want to do some crazy fingering by going two, one, two, three, four, five. But personally I'm okay with lifting the hand. I feel like it kind of allows for a dramatic pause on this A. So with that chord progression it sounds like this step up and you could repeat that exact same pattern here on the G and then you could go to the D and then you could go to the A and then you could get a little bit creative you could sort of mix and match the ideas so you could go sounds great right so I'm kind of picking notes within that pentatonic scale to land on that are different from this first one. And that's where this starts to get fun and you'll start to see ways where you can add your own creativity, your own creative spin to this idea because any of these notes are gonna sound really, really good over top of the progression that we're playing. So the sky is really, truly the limit. But the main idea here is that you begin to explore up. And you can add any of these other notes in there. I'm going to go to the D, and then maybe the E. So there's the first one, there's the second one, and then here's my own little spin. Okay, so one more. Um, this one, we kind of take some notes out. So we get a totally different feeling, but it's also kind of similar. Um, we're using the notes of that minor pentatonic scale still. Um, and this time we're gonna play B. We're gonna get rid of those guys in the middle. We're gonna play F sharp, A, and B. So what this sounds like all together is this. So you're gonna be essentially just repeating these notes over and over. Make sure you allow for some buoyancy in the wrist and then add in that progression in the left. Here we go. different mood. It's a little bit more urgent. It's more intense. Um, but again, we're borrowing notes from the same scale to create 
different moods, different energies, different intensities. And I hope that you are really excited at this point because you're seeing all the different ways you can mix and match these notes, place them over top of a progression like the one we did in this lesson, and then see what you come up with. So comment below and let me know what you think and have lots of fun practicing this. See you around. Thank you.